morning. Now, today's look is very similar to the halo eye that I've done previously uh, with one of some of the Natasha Denona products. Today, I've used a, an array of different products just to show you how this look can look with different products, different techniques. Uh, the eyeshadows I've used from Sports Girl Neutral Hues palette. This is really pretty and really affordable. So Sports Girl, if you don't have that where you are, it's like a um, fashion clothing brand and they sell some makeup. So really affordable makeup. I've also used the Revlon Serum, Serum Tint. I've used this before. Just creates a really nice natural tint on the face. I've used the Mecha Max Contour Stick. And um, during the video, you'll notice that I actually didn't film myself placing it on, but I have filmed myself blending it out. So um, I did use one of the Vivid Luxe creams by Youngblood as well and a few other products. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what you think and let me know if there's anything that you would like to see me do, any particular colors, any particular styles. And I also want to say I really appreciate everyone for um, jumping on and watching this. So here we go. Let me know what you think. As always, I'm going to begin with my skin prep. I already used the Olivia Day Cream uh, earlier today. So now I'm going to go in with the Naked Sundays. This is an SPF 50. And I'm starting on my neck first. So because I was getting that pigmentation on my neck and sort of jawline, I'm really making a conscious effort to place the sunscreen there first. So just blending that in. Using the Kylie Skin uh, Eye Cream, so it's another product I haven't used for a while. So just placing that under my eyes and over my eyes as well for just a little bit of that hydration. And I always put the residual over my lips. It's just something that I do with the rest of it. This is the Revlon. Now this is the Serum Tint. And it's really quite lovely. It has vitamin C and E. The shade that I have is 317. And it just feels really light on the skin and as you can see it's just a nice tint i'm using my fingers so that i can keep it quite warm and more like a tint and moisturizer sort of feel to look at this making sure i go over my eyelids and also i'm going to place some on my chest as well i am a little pink on my chest i did use a bit of a scrub last night in my mask now this is the mecha max this is me not filming putting it on so there we are. I've just done what I would say is the number three on the side of the face. So across the, the, bra, um, the forehead, um, high on the cheekbone and across the jawline there. So this just adds that really nice bit of definition and warmth to the face. This is in medium. So it's the Mecha Max contour stick. It's called off-duty contour stick. So these make it really nice and easy. Now just combing out my brows. Today I'm going to use the Emco Beauty. This is the brow set and fix. I'm just using the set on the outer tail of my brow. I don't really want it to be too dark on the inner corner. And I'm using the fix as well, again, just on that outer corner. As you can see, I placed it a little bit high. Just be careful that your brows aren't too high on that peak because it can look like you're a bit surprised. Um, and then combing that out. This palette is called the Neutral Hues, and these are cool toned hues, and it's from um, Sports Girl. These brushes are new. They're from Emco Beauty. I quite, I wasn't too sure how they were going to be. So this is called the Blend. So there's two, it's like a double-ended brush, and on this particular one, we have Blend and Eye Crease. So I'm using the Blend, and it's angled. So as you can see, I'm turning it around to which way I want the sort of pointier part of the brush so on the outer corner I have that pointy edge on the out and as I get to the inner corner I'm turning that brush around so to place the color on the inner corner and as I said on the introduction this is like a halo eye because I'm placing the same shade that I'm placing on the outer corner in the inner corner as well but it's a very light shade now I'm going in with the other end of this brush called the eye crease and just really sweeping it through the crease and running it down the bottom lash line Again, I love doing this with a bit of eyeshadow. It does create some depth. This is the other one. Now, on one end, it's an eyeliner, and the other is called just called shade, actually. And because it is a flatter brush, it's much easier to pick up the shimmer. So there's some gorgeous shimmers in this, and the one that I have picked up is called High Tea. I've decided to go in with the darker shimmer as well, which is called Smog. Just to give it a little bit more definition, I thought that light was just a little bit too light, but I do like it on the ball of the eye there. Going back in with that blending brush and sort of sweeping it out, this is me cleaning the brush. 
It's a really great idea, these little exfoliator. I just wanted to clean it and grab a lighter shade to place up under my brows just to really highlight them as well. Now this is the Rumi Cosmetics eyeliner and it's in chocolate brown. I love the brown shade and I do love this product. It's nice and creamy and very easy to just run along the lash line and create that soft baby wing. I also place it just under the bottom lash line as well. I'm not putting it up into the tight line today because I am going to be doing a personal one-on-one -on -one workshop today so I need to take all this off. This is the Prime Prometics. This is the mascara in brown. I haven't used this one before, hence the package. So I've just opened it. And again, just another shade to create a more softer look. It doesn't need to be so hard. This really helps to sort of lengthen those lashes and just give them a really nice natural coat. Now, this is one of the nude um, pencils from Fernando's collection. And this is nude number three. And what I'm going to do is use it a little bit like a contour for my lips. So I'm just placing it into that Cupid's bow at the top and underneath. So this is where I like to overline. I only overline the top middle and bottom middle. Now this is the Maybelline. This is one of their vinyl um, Superstay lip um, glosses. And the color, if I can find it, is number 35. It's called Cheeky. So really pretty, love the packaging. Now I wanted something quite neutral for the cheeks because I didn't want to go too pink or too peach. So this is called Creme Brulee and it's one of the Vivid Lux um, cream sticks by Youngblood. And I'm using the Beauty Blender again to blend that in. Now Fernando's palettes, this is called um, the Peachy palette. I'm using the pinker shade just to add a little bit of color over those cheeks. Once again, I'm using that little exfoliator pad to clean my brush and I'm placing that same blush shade up into the crease to really lift those eyes. I'm using the City Bronzer by Maybelline to just carve out the contouring a little bit more and really set that product in place. Really important with your creamy products is to set them with your powder products. This is a gorgeous product by Home Beauty. It's called M Powder and there's two shades. So I'm using the lighter shade where I just want to sort of um, set that makeup and highlight. Then I'm using the darker shade to sort of add to the contouring and set that makeup as well. Let me know what you think.